Hello, 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 everyone. This is your Hall of Famer, Director Marlon Green, synchronizing this universe with positive energy. If God can send a person to do better than me, let them send it instead of just wishful thinking. Because I'm a critical thinking and a lot of things don't add up. So we're going to have to seek other alternatives than just God's word. Because a, a prayer without blessing is just a pep talk. I'm ready to be financially blessed. And I don't have time for all of these uh, assholes making these mistakes and assumptions like they're doing everything right. And they're not. Uh, I have successfully blocked Morris Bart Law Firm from for contending with a veteran's earplug lawsuit. And so this is going to happen to most of you all for dealing with me, especially in African-Americans about their money. And let's start this off now. God never blessed America just racist. They don't even like God. Their God is money. And uh, let's let's finish going down here. Their God is money. God is limited these days because of lack of positivity, lack of opportunity, lack of support. God favors slavery in America. And if that's all God favors, then that's a God that we do not need because I am not about to give God an excuse to enslave me and his people are much worse who he's a blessing. God allowed the abduction of the slave trade for about 400 years and no other uh, ethnic group has been that long, which tells me is not just God calling the shots, but also other races that are holding us down. Thankfully, the Asians are morally erect and they are going to be in control of America and most of the world soon not by might but by social activities and by businesses which america acts like they are ex experts are but are not they steal your identity in america they claim they like you but they'll steal your identity they make false statements to make their kids seem special they have money and lives are still fucked up they are never happy even with the money they ain't never happy they destroy your credit and credibility they destroy your relationships you won't be able to get a girlfriend because they group together and sell pussy they discriminate with jobs all of the women can have a job at 10 to 1 they're going to want to be paid as much as the men, which is only 20 cents more, which is nonsense and show you they don't know how to run a home and you'll be bankrupt and miserable uh, laying up with them. They destroy your relationships. They discriminate with jobs. The insurance companies cheating blacks out of their entitlements for years and people like Governor John Bell Edwards uh, come on television talking about it's a surplus. Oh, you need to sign off on this surplus. It's not a surplus. We're not signing off on it. And you're going to be leaving office for your lack of performance. Ranger or no ranger, you're performing poorly and you suck. They turn our women against us. They hire and sleep with our wives. In other words, this has been going on for a while. It's been, it's been documented that the man and the slave master has been fucking his wives, fucking your wives, fucking everybody's wives. And he thinks that God blesses him for that. A lot of people in America have God and religion fucked up and would never admit it. Our women are whores and would never admit it. They are mentally retarded from other things like the environment and the man and they would never admit it. How do you fix things and fix people that wouldn't admit it? You keep citing them near the mistakes because sooner or later, reality is going to set in no matter how much they are in denial. 
start bouncing them against the environment and see if they get a, a, a good reaction or not because they never get a good reaction. They use and are into witchcraft. Everybody's in the witchcraft. Uh, black women don't respect their men because they work for the Jews, the Arabs, the Spanish, the white folks, and they turn them against it because we don't never have no money. And that's why you African-American women are not getting no fucking money without no alpha male in the household. And it's just as simple as that. God allows y'all to overtax us five, six, and seven times and give y'all billionaires tax breaks, which squeeze the economy. And all of these tax breaks never recycle back in the economy. Shows the white folks in America don't know what the fuck they're doing when it comes to managing finances. And they need us to be a crutch and abuse us. High incarceration rates for the male, low incarceration rates for the female at 10 to 1. They doing just as much dirt. The, the man loves romanticizing slave and slave master relationships. I can't stand it. African American women have adapted to that shit. They always twerk and they always in the strip clubs. They the main ones leading the scandals. They ain't shit. They are whores in media. They work for the Jews. They work for CNN. They work for Fox. They work. They are people like uh, Gail and Oprah will go against their own kind, their own race, and their own greater good for a few dollars more. And that's who the white folks like to put in charge over us to abuse us. A lot of these people got mental uh, severe mental disorders and would never and would never admit it. They have the lawyers in conspiracy at EOC, at the Civil Rights, at the Department of Justice, at Mayor Cantrell City Hall, at the governor's office, at the litigation press. If too many people are piling up in an area, that means there's some fraud going on. And don't just turn a blind eye because the shit has repercussions. And know what I'm saying? At the Bar Association, in the media, the banks, they own Hollywood, they own our black women. They made an exodus, the Jews made an exodus from Israel. African and African Americans need to make an exodus out of America and let them tear each other up. Because they're lazy and they spend their money on bullshit. And they're very scary and capable of destroying everything, calling themselves, trying to fix it. That's why China is uh, outperforming America at almost every level. Russia is uh, capable of beating America all by itself. And it only takes one nuke blast to get through. And it only takes about 20% casualties to make the Americans quit. And we are serious about consolidarity. And Nipsey Hussle has started a business revolution. And job discrimination, they systematically deny blacks wealth and uh, income, but they think they are righteous, which is Luciferian. And here's what they spend all of their money on. They talk a lot of shit, but they don't come close. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this is something that should be addressed you know what i'm saying and so uh this is the last page that you know uh our our enemies like to do and you need to look at this list our enemies like to control the media and propaganda Control thinking, control your finances, control your credit. They take your inventions and give it to the white folks. Our women are mentally retarded and they don't notice. And the white, the white folks like to keep them and the man and the masters like to keep them that way. Our women are sexist. They don't even know right from wrong. And they're the main ones that come on television talking about uh, we accusing, we abusing them. No, nah, we are not abusing y'all. Y'all bitches ain't shit. Y'all work for the Arabs, the Spanish, uh, the white folks, and everybody else before your own man. Y'all the only ones that we have to remind to help your men.
And that's a damn shame. It is.